Hi everyone. In the film Best Out of Waste we saw that how the young talents gathered the society waste and made beautiful and useful artifacts. Even our ancestors understood the importance of old and waste materials and that's why they wouldn't waste the materials that are useful. Even our history comprises of stories of inspiring personalities who utilized old and waste materials around them to make new and useful artifacts and one of these inspiring personalities is Naik Chand Saini. So Naik Chand Saini's story begins between the period of freedom and partition when thousands of families were stranded due to an unusual problem and it was becoming very difficult for them to decide as to what to do and what not to do should they quit their land and homes to cross the border and come to india or should they stay in their homes and land in pakistan like they did before but then many families left their homes and land in pakistan and came to india it doesn't seem so difficult when you hear it but just think leaving our homes and land to reside in a new location would be so difficult those days did not have all the facilities like accessing your atm card and get the cash you need those were very difficult days which our grandparents and other ancestors witnessed one of these people was a 22 23 year old boy from shankargarh situated in gurdaspur he left his home and land and came to india along with his family and started living over there no doubt this boy and his family would have also undergone a lot of difficulties which other families moving to india would have undergone but after battling all the problems and continuously overcoming the hurdles for around 8 to 9 years of his life this boy from chandigarh became a road inspector nek chand saini who was appointed to assist a famous france based vastu designer who was in india as he needed support you would have usually seen that nowadays people are only concerned about their work and lives and are only keen to work on the areas told to them by their superiors and peers but mr nekchan was very different unlike how we tend to rest in our homes and spaces after completing our work nekchan saini would take his cycle and step out in the evenings and he kept roaming around for long hours that do not in prime locations and on one such days during his outing he got an idea which has not just made chandigarh popular in india but also in countries around the globe mr nekchand was roaming around a place one day and he saw a lot of scrap and useless materials so he thought that let me make something new out of it something creative then he picked up all the materials he liked from the scrap that he saw lying around him and like we always get the things we like but a lot of times we wonder where do we keep these materials now but mr nekchan had a solution to this problem too and he found a safe place in a jungle where he could keep all the materials in one place and this became nekchan's routine of traveling to gather materials Mr Nekchan would finish his work and keep cycling to several places and he wouldn't stop till he found useless tube light broken colorful tiles bangles china clay cups toilet seats caps of bottles several materials made of plastic and collect all of them which were actually useless for others but he found them very good and useful when he realized that he had gathered a lot of materials mr nekchan thought that now let's make something out of them so then he made a statue from these old and useless materials and to heat up the statue he also made a furnace at the same place and this is how mr nekchan saini made his first and innovative statue After it was ready Mr Nekchan loved the statue so much that he enjoyed working on these artifact projects even more 
Whenever he would have his weekly off, Nick Chansani would be busy in his artifact project and he would put in double effort. Over a period of time, he managed to make several artifacts without telling anyone. Had it been someone else in his place, he would have made one artifact and showed it off. But Mr. Nick Chansani wasn't working on this project to show off, but for his own joy and contentment. and for him that statue and the other artifacts he made was next to god and for several years mr nick chansani hid all these artifacts and materials in the jungle and kept working hard on this artifact project but you only tell me could any story complete without a surprise so there was a surprise element in nick chan story too and one day the forest official came to know about nick chan's artifacts now mr nick chan sani thought that his dream would come to an end because they were made without any permission but when people saw this unique and innovative project of nick chan sani they all backed him for nick chan's brilliant initiative it was this support which helped nick chan sani to sustain and fulfill his dream after a lot of efforts from his end in the year 1976 the authority of chandigarh named this garden as the rock garden and they inaugurated the garden so that the public like us could also visit Everyone appreciated the artifact project of Nick Chan. After seeing Nick Chan's effort and passion for this project, he was transferred from the post of road inspector to take full charge of the rock garden to take care of it and further beautify it. Now you would say everything worked in Nick Chan's favor. And why shouldn't it? The work he is passionate about could be done by him 24 is to 7. and now there were 50 more people to provide the required assistance who were provided by the government to him now not just chandigarh but the country and the entire world could see the beautiful innovative and unique rock garden like the way nick chan wanted it to be but the story was heading towards an exciting climax a story without a hurdle can that be possible and like it happens in every story there were some people even in this story who were not liking the initiative of nick chan sani that is why when nick chan sani went abroad for some work some people tried to break his work of beautiful artifact and completely destroy it and they damaged the garden to a great extent and even his helpers also quit their work who were appointed by Nick Chan to assist him and it was again that Nick Chan Sani was left alone but still Mr Nick Chan Sani did not give up and he developed this garden once again and today it is due to Mr Nick Chan Sani that a 40 acre sized rock garden is one of the special and one of the most beautiful tourist spots in india which is visited by many people daily and this also includes several foreign tourists now you tell me if that day nick chan sani had not to come to india with his family would we have got such a rock garden in india that is why it is important to pursue what you love you have to only try by making efforts and be focused so did you see how mr nick chan sani made india's best garden from the waste that you and i throw every day and yes whenever you visit chandigarh next please do visit the rock garden too you should definitely get inspired by him and also inspire others to not to waste the waste materials we see around thank you